Might this be a Bottega Veneta bag? Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. Therefore the unboxing we are doing today is not going to be a bag I bought but yet again a bag I rented and I think I will set up an entire playlist for you because so far I have one video talking about bag renting in general, one unboxing and one review of a rented bag and here is unboxing number two. They definitely will follow a review of that bag, whatever it's going to be. And I do consider to introduce the service, the rental service I'm using in depth for you, which probably is more interesting to my German viewers because they are just operating in Germany. But I think that possibly some people are interested and maybe some people are searching for that company and if it's trustworthy. I'm considering to put out my experience, opinion and the entire process how it works. If you are a returning viewer from the US or wherever in the world you might be, which is not Germany, let me know in the comments if you still would watch that video just to support me or if you think, uh, well, if I can't use that service, I don't need another video on it. I'm rambling on getting carried away. This is my second rented bag from the subscription that I chose. There are different tiers of how flexible you are with the bags and the one I chose, you can pick two bags and the third one is a surprise. The first bag I got was one of the bags that I picked. So this now either is the surprise bag or the Bottega Veneta bag that I picked. And I don't know, from the sounds and from the logic, I have a feeling that this might be the surprise bag. I was quite certain that the first bag wouldn't be the surprise bag because I didn't expect they would start the subscription with a surprise. But for this one, I would say chances are 50-50, either Bottega Veneta that I chose or the surprise. And I don't think we have to make this any longer because I really, really, really want to see that bag. So yet again, it feels like a huge box for the bag that seems to be inside. So it could be the Bottega that I picked because I think it's on the smaller side. But most of the bags you can choose from them are on the smaller side. So this does not necessarily have to be a hint on what it is. This is so exciting. I cannot even describe how exciting it feels because imagine you get a designer luxury bag and you do not even know what bag it is. That's the feeling I have because it could be the complete surprise. Oh, I got a note. Oh my God. Oh my God. They have seen my YouTube video. I, I, I'm, how do I say it in English? I swear this is not staged. I had no idea they would include something. It's obviously German, but I will try to translate it for you. Dear Mary, thank you so much for the fun YouTube video. Inside of the bag, you'll find a little goodie. Kindest regards your folk team. I don't know how to put it in words because I have such a small channel. I appreciate everyone watching. Of course, when you start YouTube, you have in mind that maybe someday there might be some brands that you highly enjoy and they might recognize you and you might get some small perks for doing this YouTube thing, but I'm doing it for nearly three years now and I'm doing it out of pure passion for luxury handbags. It just, it's the greatest feeling when a company, a brand you actually enjoy recognizes you. I'm beyond curious right now. But it got me completely distracted from the bag. And I have to admit, the Bottega Veneta bag I chose, I do not even entirely know what size it has, because I went a little bit impulsively on just picking something that I thought looked cute without doing a lot of research beforehand, because I just had the mindset of, well, if I don't like the bag, I didn't buy it. I just rented it and it's not too bad. From the size, I think it looks quite big and it could be something else. But Ah, without me rambling on, this gets more and more exciting. We have the same card we already had for the first unboxing. And I think this might be the surprise they mentioned because I already got a cosmetic pouch with the first order, which everyone gets. So you are safe with your bag and you don't leak anything into. As far as I understood it, you can keep the cosmetic pouch as a freebie and you can use it and reuse it with all of your bags. Not entirely sure where I put my cosmetic pouch. I have to search for it so that I can use it with that bag. And you are asked to return all the bags in the dust bag. But as far as I'm concerned, you can keep the cosmetic pouches. What should we check out first? The pouch or the bag? I think the bag. 
Let me get rid of the box. Okay, 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 I know what it is. Well, I think I know what it is. I'm quite sure from the way this feels that this is my Bottega bag that I chose, that I picked. If you are a Bottega Veneta expert, can you tell? I will give you some more hints and I still might be completely wrong. It might be a bag that has a similar feature as the one I expect this to be. So the Bottega bag that I picked has very typical interwoven Bottega leather, which this part feels like it is. And it has very bold hardware that is hard. And this feels like the hard, hard hardware I'm expecting. Okay, whew. I think I'll tell you, well, you can guess in the comments, but I will tell you now. I think this is a Bottega Veneta sardine bag. Let's see if I'm actually right. Oh, we should have got rid of that paper because it's making sounds and probably it would have been better if I took that off right away. Didn't consider that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Very certain, very certain this is the Bottega sardine bag. Oh yeah, and I already see a tiny piece of Bottega leather. Oh, seems like I went for gray, not green. That's actually very possible because I had two in the consideration. I was, I think I will put a picture for you up on screen. Considering green and gray and neutral boring me probably went for the gray to make sure that it would be easy to combine. Even though I will link you my Fendi review as well already. With that Fendi bag, I went for a neutral, a beige, and then I realized ah, I should have been a little bit more brave and went for a crazy color because it is just rented and I will be able to make it work. And yet again, I went for a neutral. This is great. <sighs> okay. Wow. Okay. This bag has quite some wear on the handle, which is a great thing to know. Because if this is how the bag wears, right from the very first impression, I don't think I would be happy to spend Bottega Veneta money on it. And as I already did with the Fendi bag, I will take pictures and send them to Faub right away to make sure we are on the same page about the use on that bag. The leather looks incredibly well, like hardly ever used. From inside and outside. The leather is great, but wow, I'm, I'm surprised how damaged that hardware is. <gasps> I'm not sure, I'm not even sure how it happened. Did someone wear it with a ring and jewelry and was knocking onto it all the time? Or I cannot even explain how that happened. Can it happen by fingernails? I don't think so. I'm going to make sure that I put closer pictures for you. It has a magnet button. The bag is lighter than I would have expected considering it has such a big piece of hardware. And I think it's very roomy. It's probably going to fit a lot of us. We are going to test it out in the in-depth review of it. I'll give you a quick mod shot right away, but that's as well a thing we will do in the in-depth review of that bag. You can wear it in the crook of your arm, but it doesn't sit that well. And mm, you can put it on your shoulder, but doesn't sit that well either and it's not already even filled. So I think it's mainly a handheld bag. Interesting. Okay, from the very first impressions, I think I can already tell that I like this one less than I did like the Fendi baguette bag from the very first impressions. But obviously this bag will get a chance to convince, convince me, convince me otherwise. Now, we have a little surprise left. And I'm really curious for that because this is the part I didn't see coming at all. And having the Bottega bag here means that the third bag I will receive will be the surprise bag. <gasps> so the next video, I know that I can have that incredible kind of curiosity because I still have no idea what the third bag of my subscription will be. And they put some sweets for me. How cute and kind it's salted almonds. Thank you very much, Fob. It's the little things, it's cute details that, yeah, make it. Once again, to have it all in one take, just in case there is trouble with the condition, here we go. If anyone has a Bottega Veneta sardine bag, definitely let me know if yours shows these signs of wear. Do you think it's possible to get that part exchanged by Bottega? Because the leather really looks incredible. The leather looks brand new. <gasps> I am dying to know what the person who did this to the bag did to the bag. <laughs> wow, I'm so curious to see how many people at this point in time will already have commented under this video that I'm an idiot. Because 
what I thought are terrible signs of wear seems to be on purpose. I don't know if I'm the only person in the luxury community on this planet that did not know that the Bottega Veneta sardine bag is made like that on purpose. <laughs> Please definitely let me know. Did you know that? I already mentioned before I unboxed the bag that I did not do a whole lot of research on it without doing a lot of research beforehand because I just picked something I thought looked cute and I intended to just go with the flow and then see how I like the bag. So I had no idea that this is intended to look that way. Actually, I was I was thinking so bad about it, what had happened to the bag, and the most logical thing that came to my mind was that a dog must have played with that bag and used it as a chewing toy, and that these marks are little marks from a dog's teeth. <laughs> I even, as I mentioned I would do, took pictures and wrote to faux pay, um, just so that you know. The handle of that bag has a lot of signs of use. If it is possible, if they could tell me if they know what the previous owner did to the bag, then I was on the go with my husband. We were going to the city and I was still a little bit in shock how bad that bag seems to have worn and I was doing some research and I found that picture at an online store and I saw that there are these little marks and even in that moment it did not come to my mind that this could be on purpose. I was thinking to myself, oh my god, this Bottega Veneta bag for three and a half thousand euro, it wears so bad that they even made the first marks and signs of use into it whilst taking pictures at a photo shooting to sell the bag. So I was feeling like, oh my god, I'm onto something. This is the worst quality ever. And then I was doing some more research because I wanted to check out some pre-love bags and see how terrible they would look if even the ones on the product pictures have these marks. Then I saw the description of someone who copied the description from the Bottega Veneta website, which said, quote, the metallic handle is crafted by artisans and showcases nuances and engraved markings, making each piece unique. And when I read that, my chin dropped. I was like, artisans making every piece unique? This must be a joke, this can't be true, but yeah, it is true. Then I looked deeper into it, looked at more bags, and all of them have these marks in the handle. And honestly, I still can't wrap my head around it. Okay, I know now it is intended to look that way, but I have to admit that I definitely would prefer it if it was not there. Please let me know if I'm the only idiot in the luxury community that had no idea that this is a design feature on a three and a half thousand euro bag or if you thought it's terrible use as well. Just wanted to include that in my little clip because well hubby and I we were laughing so hard and so bad when we realized it was not a dog it's the design. Well rambling on very unstructured video yet again thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time and bye! I just realized this bag didn't come with the faux tag. I searched for it. This is the tag that was on my Fendi baguette bag and this one didn't come with one. Just to be safe I found this little extra clip now as well.